good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from. Thank you so much for staying with us. Thank you for liking our videos. You are amazing in the name of Jesus. We love and celebrate you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you because it's another day that you have made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Speak to us today. Touch our lives. Change us. Let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus Christ, wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. All things are now ready. God always loves to prepare things for us. He always loves to prepare what we need ahead of time. You remember, even we didn't request for the death of Jesus, for the remission of our sin, before God gave him hope to die for our sin. You remember the story, that parable of the great banquet spoken by Jesus in the book of Luke chapter 14, when he was talking about the master got all things ready, and he sent the servants to go and tell the people to come. A number of them, they were giving excuses. Someone says, I'm going to uh, look at my land. I, I want to uh, work on my oxen. And I just got married. They gave all sorts of excuses. And the master told the servant to go to the highway and compel them to call. But eventually, you're looking at verse 26. People came, chapter 14. He says, For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidding shall taste of my supper. Because these people refused to call, then the master said they will not taste of it. God always loves to make things ready for us. He said, be still and know that I am God. The Bible says, all things are now ready. You remember the disciples, even in the, in the boat, when the storm arose, Jesus still the storm. Oh, my shakataya baba. Everyone that is watching me today, every storm in your life, I said to that storm, be still in the name of Jesus. You remember King Jehoshaphat, when he was faced the battle, God said to him, Thus says the Lord unto you, Be not afraid, nor dismayed, by the reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but the battle is of the Lord. God is getting things ready for you. He saying, be still. Sit right and see what the Lord will do. Sit right, you are about to be served with your breakthrough. Sit right, relax with Jesus. Take hold on to Jesus. He will fight your battle for you. He will fight for us. So what do we need to do? What do we need to sit right and get this package? What do we need to do to sit right and get from all these things that is now ready for you and I? Number one, we should not give excuse. All things are ready. Don't give excuse. God is calling unto you and I say, come. He said, come. Come and sit at my feet. Come and eat, drink of my cup. Come and eat of my body. Jesus is saying, come. I want to give you rest. He's saying, come. I want to give you peace. Do not give excuse. Number two, we need to reference God more than anybody else. We need to reference God more than anything else. Verse 26 says, If any man will come to me and eat not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sister, yea, and his own life, also he cannot be my disciples. What that means is that we must place God higher than anything else. We must place God even higher than our, our spouses. We must place God higher than our parents. God should be the first in everything we do. The Bible says in the beginning, God. Number three, we need to always carry our cross daily. Verse 27 says, And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me, he cannot be my disciples. Following Jesus come with some price. I will not deceive you. Following Jesus come with a number of price. But the first price is to, after acknowledging Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we love the Lord with all our heart, with all our soul. We must always carry our cross daily. What does it mean to carry our cross daily? To die to flesh. Even in that suffering, we must still continue to follow Jesus. We must still continue to reference him. We must still continue to honor him. Cross signifies suffering. It signifies redemption. It was not easy for Jesus when he was on the cross. Because he carried the burden of the whole world. You know, the suffering was much. The pain was so much. To the extent that he, he told God, he said, why has that forsaken me? He said, but nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. But your will be done. He cried, he cried, he cried. Oh, Shakatayaba. Even in that challenge, because challenge will come. But God has promised us that He will overcome that challenge. God has promised us that He will steal that storm. God has promised us that He will take the pain away. God has promised you that He will make you the head and not the tail. God has promised you to step aside, that He will fight for you. He's saying unto you, and I said, Come. He said, come, I want you to sit right. I want you to sit right. I want you to relax with God. I want you to relax with your maker. I want you to relax with the one that is always making intercession for you. 
at the right hand side of God. I want you to sit right. I want you to balance well. Because Jesus is the one speaking. He wants to calm that storm. He's saying, peace be still. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Remember, do not give excuses. Love God more than anything else. And carry your cross daily. All things are now ready. God bless you so much. I love you so much in the name of Jesus. Are you watching? You want to say yes, Lord? Maybe you are still new in your Christian journey. You don't know Jesus or you want to uh, rededicate your life to him. Can you please say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your words unto me today. Father, please forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Thank you for answering my prayers. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we are praying. Amen. We say that prayer generally. Congratulations. You are now a born again Christian. I want you to continue to love God. Continue to follow him. Continue to do his will. And it shall be well with you. You know what? I love you so much. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye.